Late Night Health is proud of our partnership with the EBC, the Evolutionary Business Council. Check them out at ebcouncil.com. This is Late Night Health. This is the radio show that cares about the most important part of your life, your health. During the next hour, we're going to spend some time with some experts in a wide variety of fields. Uh, We're going to end up with Robert Clancy, the author of The Messenger, and we're going to talk to him. We'll also find out about your dreams. All right, let's take a... uh, Does anybody here dream and remember their dreams? Bernardo, do you remember your dreams? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Got it. And Daryl? Very, very rarely do I remember them. I, I have them sometimes. I mean, uh, REM sleep is a, a tough one for me because, you know, I've, I've got the sleep apnea. I've been aside from that. Yeah, I don't remember my dreams most of the time. I used to be able to uh, have a dream, wake up, and then go back to it. Oh, my. Yeah. It's, if you liked it. If it was a nightmare, you, yeah. I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Um, And we're going to start our show today with um, a young man. His his name is Bernardo Moya. Uh, Bernardo has written a book called The Question, Finding Your True Purpose uh, in Life. And I think this is going to reflect on your health. We'll also spend some time, and hopefully over the next couple of months uh, through March, talk about uh, a personal development expo. Uh, that's coming up uh, at the L.A. Convention Center, and we'll have some more information about you. Actually, it's called The Best of You 2020. I can't believe that. I think that's the first time I've said that on the air, Daryl. 2020. Bernardo, thank you for sharing your dreams with us. Um, This is your dream, isn't it? Uh, Thank you, and thank you, Mark, for calling me young man. That's made my day and 2020 so far. Yes, the, the, the book is, is uh, kind of, um, uh, it's, it's, it's been a long time in, in, in the making and it's, uh, it's kind of what, what I've literally come to with my experiences so far as an entrepreneur and running these big personal development events. And you do these all over the world. Yes, I've been doing this in the UK for quite a few years now, for five years, uh, but I've been running um, or promoting uh, speakers and running events for the last uh, 11 years. Yeah. Your background is is interesting too, because though you, I guess you were born in England, you really grew up in Spain. Yes, right. And but you you go back and forth. Uh, you uh, you you were based in uh, Marbella, which is one of my favorite places in the world. You would love it, Daryl. Uh, how did you find your personal? purpose because your purpose seems to me and correct me if i'm wrong to help other people yes i mean it's, it's come to that it, it, it take it took me a long time to be honest i didn't really feel like i didn't really feel i had a purpose in life till probably my late 30s early 40s when kind of i started all over again and that wrote. was two weeks ago bernardo come on <laughs> i wish it was no it was it was it was uh more or less 15 years ago now that kind of uh uh, my background was real estate. I, I was I was in real estate for a long time. Very passionate, interested in, in in personal professional growth from the early years. You know, Jim Rohn, Brian Tracy, Jack Canfield, you name it. I was I was reading all of these greats. But it was it was NLP, neuro linguistic programming, that really put me on 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 kind of this path that I'm at. But um, yeah, I didn't really feel I had a meaning. And and kind of when I lost my money again for the second time at the age of of forty, um, I really wanted to do something that had a bit more of a meaning. And, and that's what I do now. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed and honored to, to work with people where I provide them a platform to share their expertise and their dreams and also a place where people that are seeking, looking, you know, for ways to improve their lives to, to meet. So. What's interesting to me is that I meet people of all ages and many of them don't have any concept of what their purpose is. Is that something that you find as well? I mean... It could be a 20-year-old, you know, a millennial. It can be a baby boomer. Mm-hmm. They don't really know why they're here. Somebody just said to me the other day, somebody in their their late 60s said, why the hell am I here? Mm. 
it's it's the, it's the most important question I ask in the book. What are you here for? And and the fact is that I, I don't think I don't I, I think very few people actually know what their purpose is in life. I mean, you you get successful people, you get entrepreneurs, you get people that work for great charities and causes that you know live a fulfilled life and with very little. But they have, or they are on, you know, they're living their their true purpose in life. No, that's what I've identified. Identify. I basically, I don't think people really think, and I don't think they think about what. <laughs> no, I don't think. I don't. I don't think people really actually sit down and think. And, and not only they don't sit down and think, they don't think about what they're thinking about. And and they have this kind of really bad internal dialogue where, you know, kind of they're not really asking themselves empowering questions. And and that's kind of where I came to the conclusion of my what I learned over these years. And putting it in kind of a simple format, which hopefully will help people identify what their purpose is. Why do I need to know what my purpose is? I mean, does that help me plan for life? Does it help me reach a goal? I mean, why do I need to know? Because I think one of the one of the important aspects I think uh, in life is that we're not really uh, aware of of. Uh, I, I know I know that we know. I know that we know that we're mortal. I know that we know we're here for a limited period of time, but we don't tend to put that on the front burner. You know, we tend to leave that literally, hey, I'll sort this out at a later date. And what will happen is eventually, uh, and that's what will happen is at the end of your life, when, when unfortunately, you know, things are just finishing for you, you will have regrets. You'll have all these regrets of things that you didn't do, things you should have done, and things that you should have changed. And um, and that's why having a purpose is important because we, we need to understand and appreciate our mortality and start focusing on what our legacy is going to be, which is something that I believe in very, very strongly. Uh, our guest is uh, Bernard Bernardo Moya. He's actually going to hang out with us and uh, uh, work with us as uh, our co-host today here on Late Night Health. You can uh, join us at LateNightHealth.com. You can ask us questions at info at late night com. I do personally answer each and every one of those questions and we're getting questions like does Daryl really have a beard uh, is he really taller than Mark and things of that nature <laughs> any question that you have any question can be answered yes yes exactly <laughs> we will take care of those um, for you what about having a belief in something greater than ourselves. Is that something that you think is required to find your purpose? Uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's I think it's really focusing on, on what fulfills you, you know, what, what what makes you happy, what makes you smile. Um, I, I get it. Look, we, we all have to pay bills. You know, we, we have responsibilities. We have families. But at the end of the day, you know, we are obliged. I believe we're obliged to become the best version of ourselves. And if we don't do it for ourselves, we have to do it for our kids. You know, if you don't eat well, if you don't exercise, if you if you don't treat your you know loved ones nicely, well, your kids are watching. Your kids are looking. You know, so by you becoming the best version of yourself, everyone around you is going to become better. You're going to feel better. And then also we will start dealing and addressing the issues and challenges we have on the planet because there's many. So I, I believe in a personal professional growth that really cares, that helps people kind of um, find ultimately what they're here for, what their legacy is going to be, and help them on that journey of, of discovering it as quickly as possible. Do you have kids? I've got three kids. Three kids. Are they are they on your team? Uh, well, one of my uh, one of my boys worked with me for a couple of years, uh, but no, they're 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 all grown up now. My eldest is twenty eight. He lives in Marbella. He's actually a, he's a barber. Uh, my eld my middle one he works on boats and uh, but very into personal development. And my daughter she's uh, she lives in London and yeah loves anything and everything related to filming. Um, media and things like that so they're, they're great kids i have to tell you i had the best haircut in my life in nirha oh yeah it cost me nine dollars <laughs> <laughs> i mean i tra you know translated the 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 uh the the spanish money it was nine bucks he didn't understand a word i said i didn't understand anything he said and my wife said oh my god what a great haircut you have to come back I don't know if I want to go 12,000 miles for a $9,000, $9 haircut, but he was terrific. It was, I mean, 
Uh, there you go. Sometimes it's better not to communicate. Yeah, and just, just get on with it. And trust, yeah. trust the universe. Oh, I did. I trusted <laughs> the universe, and you can trust the universe as well. Uh, the name of the book is The Question, Find Your True Purpose by Bernardo Moya. And if you want information on the Best You Expo, you can go to thebestyouexpo.com, thebestyouexpo.com. I'm Mark Allen here at Late Night Health with the insane Daryl Wayne. We uh, have a thank you to send out to uh, the uh, Komen uh, LA chapter. We were uh, hosting uh, live on Facebook Live just last week. Uh, a bunch of interviews at the Metastatic Breast Cancer Conference at the City of Hope. All right, we're going to take some time out, do some business, and when we return, we will return with Bernardo as we talk about you. Don't go away. More coming up. Sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Words are a critical aspect of success. How you get your point across is a crucial part of what makes anything sell. So do it right and hire a writer. Whether it's articles, blog posts, technical writings, website content, product descriptions, or ghost writing anything from a novel to a nonfiction book about your navel, contact Servette Hassan. If you want it to sell, write it right. Email Servette at Servette at ServetteHassan.com. There's a lot of talk all over the internet about the remarkable benefits of Carbon 60, and baby boomers are especially excited about it. Greska's Carbon 60 is the premium Carbon 60, developed by an aerospace and NASA scientist. 95% of Greska's customers report positive results from this Nobel Prize winning technology in just four days. Imagine more energy, better health, and more vitality. It's very bioavailable to quickly mend toxin and cripple cells. This is a super powerful antioxidant. Bob Greska is so confident that you'll love his Carbon 60, he wants to send you a bottle at 50% off the regular price to see how life-changing this will be for you. Call 720-600-6040. That's 720-600-6040. Visit c-60.com to learn more. Call 720-600-6040 now or visit c-60.com. If you're listening to Late Night Health right now, you're part of the growing target of baby boomers we're serving. Hi, I'm Daryl Wayne, producer of Late Night Health, inviting you to join the Late Night Health family. If you have any business targeting the growing boomer market, Late Night Health is the ideal advertising vehicle for you. From vitamins to insurance, alternative health to Western-style medicine, Late Night Health caters to the growing population of those over 40 years old. This vibrant demographic has expendable income to fight aging, purchase travel, take care of aging parents, or just have fun. Find out about the advertising opportunities with Late Night Health. Call us at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308 or email us at info at latenighthealth.com. That's info at latenighthealth.com. Join Late Night Health as we empower people to take charge of their own health care. Call now at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308. Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen. We're going to spend the next 10 minutes or so talking again with Bernardo Moya. But this time, in addition to talking about his book... We're going to talk about the upcoming The Best You Expo. The Best You Expo. It's coming up at the end of March in Los Angeles. And uh, is this really an extension, do you think, Bernardo, of your book? Uh, It is, yes. I I think kind of what I share in my book is, is is the principles of what I believe is is the simplicity of learning how to think and being aware of your thoughts and asking yourself empowering questions. And by asking yourself empowering questions, consciously and unconsciously, you'll start finding the solutions. Because I believe we have phenomenal inner wisdom. We know so much more than we really give ourselves credit to. The Best You Expo is, is, was based around the idea of presenting people with ideas. And for me, when everyone or a lot of people are very niche, I've always been very anti-niche. I, I, I think that Personal professional growth means many different things to many different people. To some people, it might mean spirituality. To others, it might mean making money on social media or 
finding love or losing weight or becoming more confident. So I wanted to I wanted to present a show that allowed everyone to be able to share their ideas, but also additionally to that, to allow those that are kind of interested in connecting with those people to meet under 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 a roof for two days. So this show has grown exponentially. I mean, in London, the one we had this last year in 2019, we had just under 14,000 attendees. Oh my. Yeah, 14,000. We had around 160, 170 speakers. Uh, so this year here in LA, we're aiming for probably eight to 10,000 people uh, and 160 speakers in nine different breakout rooms. So there's anything and everything for everyone, from yoga to meditation to um, learning how to dance salsa to uh, you know amazing speakers that will teach you hypnotherapy, how to find love. Salsa? Salsa as well, man. Everything's there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How is, I'm not even going to go there. Um, and there'll be book signings. People will be able to meet the authors, some of their favorite authors, too. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we've got, some, we've got some great speakers already confirmed. And, uh, and the idea around it is, is that all these rooms are there. You can go into any room you want you know listen to them meet them get their book signed you know have some photographs with them it's it's a great place to connect and and the idea of having all sorts of different experiences is because i believe it's about it breaking you know those limiting beliefs that people have sometimes so you know we we've done like uh, phobia cures live there we brought snakes and spiders and cured phobias live at the show and and you know i the- volunteered daryl yeah uh, for that one <laughs> especially the spiders um at the 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 expo itself there's also the potential to meet new people that are like-minded absolutely that's, that's a big part of this yeah, the, the great thing about this event is, is there's great energy, obviously, because everyone that's there are, are there because they're open and they're ready to learn. And they're obviously big fans of personal, uh, you know, professional growth, either products, uh, events or, or whatever. Uh, there's normally no negative people, which is amazing. We have a, a big hashtag, no negativity at the entrance <laughs> uh, and people have to leave them outside and their egos and everything that happens in there is from a place of love. So there's really, really great energy because there's so much happening there and, and it's just a great buzz with um all the different speakers in the from salsa dancing to meditation and that's a wide variety of things and i I, you know as i'm thinking about it the movement the music can help yeah kind of relax and get you into your zone so that makes that makes perfect sense okay (laughs) got it um with the with the event what what about people who are are searching i'll give you an example maybe maybe there's a doctor he's been practicing for 12 years and realizes he really doesn't like being a doctor or a lawyer or a plumber they 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 want something different in their lives but they don't know what maybe maybe they want to be i actually have a teacher who taught salsa dancing not a teacher he was a doc a doctor who taught salsa dancing going through med school um do, do you hear about those kinds of life-changing experiences it, 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 it's it's full of it i mean i've been lucky enough to promote many events and to have you know we've had close to seventy thousand people attend and, and there's so many life experiences Look, sometimes it's about opening our minds to new ideas and to new concepts and to new things. Welcoming change. A lot of people see change as something that's bad. Change is good. Change is part of life. It's part of growing. It's part of transforming. And sometimes if you go with an open mind and you literally show up at these events, you just never know. You know, you never know who you're going to meet. And and one of the things that I, I, I'm a great believer in serendipity. Things happen for a reason. But I think if you open your senses and you're there to really explore why you are there, uh, all of a sudden, you know, there might be someone speaking about something or there might be a talk or there might be someone that recommends you to go and listen to something. Yes, I've seen it so many times. People literally transforming their lives, changing and going on a completely different journey that is more fulfilling, that helps them ultimately find their purpose. So I've seen it again and again and again. And sometimes people go, oh, I'm going to go and see this speaker. And they end up in another room and all of a sudden they have this amazing aha moment that transforms and changes their lives. I mean, we've all seen it. So many people have had turning points. That it's an epiphany. On, exactly, on a different journey. Yeah. I have to tell you, your price point is is reason is more than reasonable yeah. for that. Yeah, it really is. It's a, it's a it's a it's a very expensive show to produce, as as you can imagine. You know, hiring 
the LA Convention Center and you know putting all the shell scheme and the AV and filming it recording it all it's it's a big it's a big gig now we we do give some complimentary tickets away and I'm going to give some of you to to put out there to to some of the listeners um but you know it's 20 30 dollars uh, and then you know we got a premium ticket which i think is around 60 70 dollars which includes the recordings of the expo so if you but you can't see all the talks anyway even if you wanted to so there's a premium ticket and then we got and you the, have the whole of 2020 to listen to those ab- absolutely yeah, so right. at the end of, after the show you'll receive a copy of all the recordings uh, all the video recordings of all of all the show and then the vip tickets which just gives you the option to make sure that you do get front row seats you can have lunch tea included and photographs with the main stage speakers so it's 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 very very affordable it really is it's it's terrific and if you want more information about that you've got the uh the best you expo.com the best you expo.com we'll have that up on our website as well in case you forget and that's at late night health dot com all right we have a couple minutes left before we turn you into the co-host and we're going to be talking with uh uh, Patricia Eltridge uh, about dreams and um, the 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 thing that that really appeals to me about all of this is finding your path, finding what you're meant to do. Somebody asked me the other day what my personal you know goal is in life, my personal. Um, uh, I guess purpose, and and mine is to share information. That's what I do. It's all I've ever wanted to do, uh, and hopefully I'm I, I I'm doing that. What do you think the percentage of people are out there that are floundering? They don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's a very big percentage of people that don't know what they're doing. I, I believe there's three types of people: those that don't really care, i.e., they're just doing their nine to five job, they're just waiting to retire, and then they've got X amount of years left, and that's it. Those that read books, you know, they read books, they attend seminars. People read books now. Yeah, some people do, and they read <laughs> books or they listen to books and they attend courses or TED talks or whatever and seminars, but you know, they don't necessarily take any action. You know, there's all these people that make all these notes. I always say, well, where, where do these notes go? You know, so they just don't take any action then there's those that go out there and make it and make a difference and make it happen and i think we need more leaders we need more people because we're we're all forces you know and now with technology we're all capable of of making a massive impact and influence on the planet and we should earlier uh, you said that you failed in real estate not once but twice twice yes yes, twice i was really bad at real estate yeah i'll bet (laughs) yeah i guess so (laughs) you couldn't do the square footage of the house (laughs) Did those failures help you become the person you are Absolutely. Today? I am who I am. And I talk about resilience. Uh, I know I've got this inner resilience where I've always been capable of kind of, re- you know, kind of coming on top again. Uh, I've, I've, I've also, I, I understand that change is good. So I kind of, and also I reinvented myself. So I think I believe I, I have assets um, f- from my failures. And I think we have to look at kind of what we've done over our life in order for us to become who we are because it's all part of who we are now and and who we can be. Bernardo, thank you for uh, sharing with us. Hang in there because you're going to put on the headset and you'll be asking questions too. Uh, Our guest has been Bernardo uh, Moya. And uh, if you want information about the Best You Expo, go to the bestyouexpo.com, bestyouexpo.com. You can also find his book uh, at latenighthealth.com. That's the best way to find uh, the question, find your true purpose. All right, we turn the uh, dials and controls back to the insane Daryl Wayne. We will return as Late Night Health continues. The latest from the greatest, the best in new music by classic rockers, with your host, the insane Daryl Wayne. This is Alice Cooper, and if Daryl Wayne is insane, what does that make me criminally insane? Stick around to find out. Many of the artist interviews for the latest from the greatest have been captured on audiobook. There is a volume one and volume two. Great information and conversations with people in the industry and people surrounded by the industry and of course the rock stars themselves i'm the reverend Al green and you're listening to the insane daryl wayne and i said wayne insane 
You can find it on Amazon or Blackstone Audio. Search for the latest from the greatest from Daryl Wayne, D-A-R-R-E-L-L-W-A-Y-N-E. Hello, this is Weird Al Yankovic, and you're listening to the insane Daryl Wayne, aren't you? (laughs) The show continues in a moment. 